Evening all, welcome to tactics, I guess. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to work on these uh, these categories. Um, they're not the best. I think doing like Kicking Dust, which is a general magazine show. Again, no one, no one even understands what the hell a magazine show is, so I don't I don't bother calling it that. Anyway, um, the other one is then tactics and obviously fittings. Yeah, I've, I've barely done any fittings, so um, might do some more fittings, I think, but. Anyway, I'm bringing you a good match, so that's the point of it, really. That's, that's, that's the way these things work, is um, good match. And I think doing a bit of ambush, um, which is not my general tipple, but <sighs> Stefan insisted, and he is the master of the universe, so I kind of don't have much of a choice. Um, no, I'm kidding. We ran um, ambush pretty much for about three days solid. And actually, this was just a cap as well. Let me be clear on that. We, you, If you run ambush, it's a pretty quick... Um, effective look at the ragdoll on that thing um, is a pretty effective way to cap relatively quickly so that's that's why we're doing it um, ambush as a game mode is is problematic to me I think because um, we generally I mean again for three days straight we fought the same 20 guys um, and that's kind of sad in a way I don't I couldn't tell you why that is I couldn't tell you I honestly couldn't because it just seemed that we got the same dudes either on our team or against us and then and against us or on our team and it was it was getting draining towards the end um again we had some good matches though i've got to admit they were fun but oh my god after a while i just yeah got so bored of it so anyway ambush is a mode is a quick simple uh, convenient way to run a game you get some good kills look at this dude sneaking up on your bro and um, you do have some fun I've got to admit, I did enjoy um, that the whole kind of concept of, uh, of, of this thing um, and I, I gotta admit yeah uh, the whole flaylock thing is now open okay um, it has always been a troll the, when the flaylet was nerfed, I did my little, uh, if you didn't see it, check it out. It was basically a little kind of, you know, uh, tombstone to the flaylock. It was a little troll, yeah. Um, and I stopped using the flaylet for quite a while because it, it wasn't as easy as it was before to use it because it was ridiculously overpowered. Um, there you go, I've admitted it. Another admission. There we go, straight from the woods of Pyrex. And seriously, um, and then all of a sudden, the flaylock, I think, has been fixed because maybe the damage... Um, you know, maybe in 1.6 it was fixed because all of a sudden the damage location um, I don't know tracking well, I don't know um, seem to work the magical pixies that work out if actual air of effect damage is working seem to suddenly um, kick in and all of a sudden the flare lock worked so uh, but it was always difficult to get kills with it because you couldn't run uh, you couldn't sneak up on anyone okay that was always the issue it was very difficult without cloaks to sneak up on people Whereas now it is, and I think the Flaylock's power comes because it's a, cr a complete first strike weapon. Much as shotguns and even mass drivers are. So to me, it very much suits my playstyle, which is I like to sneak upon dudes like this. I like to drop a grenade at their feet, marvel at the fact they didn't see it, and then shoot them with the Flaylock. And lol, they're dead. And that's kind. that to me is the game. That is like, that's my role in this game. Um, and I think that's a good thing because, you know, again, that's interesting, fun and exciting to do. Um, and I think the Flaylock, again, has always been a bit challenging, let's say. Um, as it stands at the moment, it's not bad. It really is not bad. And I think, yeah, I, everything I say, and I can quantify this and I can actually prove this because I gave CCP Saberwing a comment on Twitter, um, not Twitter, on Skype that said categorically... I am about to do a series of videos where in every single one, I say the Flaylock is terrible. Just letting you know, I'm joking. It's a piss take. I'm having a bit of fun. And he laughed and obviously was like, yeah, yeah, okay. And he kind of, you know, worryingly looked away at me kind of thinking, what's wrong with this guy? <laughs> and I think he's probably was, he's, he's not a million miles wrong. Um, because again, why would I have trolled about this? I don't know. It's a bit of fun in it. I think that the Flaylock is not a great weapon by any means. It's a sidearm and it's meant to be a sidearm. So whenever I run around a corner and I come up against a heavy with a rail rifle, inside I die a little. I cry and then I die a little because it's just not, not nice. You get stomped. Um, and I think something within my, my, my spirit has just decided that I'm not really caring too much about winning, losing, fighting, you know, whatever. 
I'm just wanting to have some fun when I play this game. I have a stressful job. Please understand that, guys. And this this non excuse, honest. Um, people ask me why don't I do PC? I've got what two thousand people at my becking call. Okay, most of them. Well, a lot of them are FK. But we still have a lot of people who are there. Um, and I think the real answer is, is I just don't have time. I, I always marvel at these people who have so much time to play games and, and do this because oh, I'm just always busy, bro. And again, it's not the channel. The channel actually doesn't take that much time to do at all. Seriously, if you're thinking of starting a YouTube channel, do it because once you get your shit in line and you get your template set, it's a day's work for the whole week. In fact, it's less than a day's work. It's a morning's work. Seriously, honestly, it is, bro. Um, but, you know, why am I talking about? I'm bloody going off topic again. But I just think, you know, if you're going to do um, something, just, you know, have fun with it. Don't don't get too bent out of shape with it. Yeah, I get angry at gangs and I get angry at kind of stupidly dying and stuff like that. But I, I don't know. Part of me just wants to have fun with this game. So running a flaylock as my primary weapon, dual flaylocks nonetheless, to me is kind of the ultimate trial because they're, they're not great guns. They're okay, but they're not great. You know, literally running a combat rifle or, 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 or kind of anything is better. Um, but I tell you what, you'll have fun. You, you know, it's, it's a bit like Quake with the old missiles and stuff like that. Look at these, look at these drop ships. Look at, we're watching them mate. We're watching them actually fight for dominance and then the, the, the victor actually gets to mate with it. <laughs> oh God, what am I on about? I, I just, you know, have fun with the game for God's sake. I know I keep sort of saying this. Um, but I, I do see a lot of people getting quite angry at the game. You know, they're kind of saying, "Oh man, what a what a bleh, what a game! Oh, so annoying! All oh, this and oh, bloody heavies this and oh my god, drop ships that and oh my god, tanks this," and it just gets worse and worse. And I I hear what you say. I know what you mean. I kind of sympathise with you because again, I've been there. I was like that with Eve, but with Dust, I'm not. And I think everything to do with Dust for me is a bit of fun. Okay. And, um, you know, part of me just wants to, you know, have a bit of fun with it, really. And I, I, I honestly would re recommend not taking anything too seriously. And that, that's kind of a rule for life, to be honest with you as well, because you never know when that bus is going to, you know, you're going to step onto that road and that bus you didn't see is going to hit you. And then all of a sudden, blip, gone. And I think it really is sometimes about enjoying, you know, what the, the moment and I think at the moment, dust is pretty fun. Yeah, there's problems with it. There's things wrong with it always, but there's always going to be things wrong with it. But as a game, it's enjoyable. But I think let's let's look to the next step. Let's make this a game that is, you know, that will last ten years, like Eve. We, we want I want this game to be the brother of Eve or the sister of Eve, whatever. I don't know how that works, but um, it should be the it should be kind of something that that will grow and continue to grow over time and I think you know again my my whole video like the videos that have come may probably come out before this I think have probably raised a few difficult questions of the community um, that you know maybe we're the barrier to the success of this game so it's a thought it's a, it's a concept it's it's like any discussion and argument point you have to accept that it's a it's a potential issue um, but I think whatever we do or whatever the game developers do or whatever the community do i think it's more important to you know enjoy a grenade killing you instantly in the moment and i think that's kind of what it's all about to a degree so there we go victory ambush again interesting stuff you know i think i even started this this is an ambush and i think you know we're, we're kind of i want to say enjoying it but it's not the easiest game mode to enjoy at all times but um i think i'm i capped in record time so that has to be a good thing i think that's probably one of the good things about ambush and as you can see, I died once stupidly, but you know, you, you can survive. It's, it's not the end of the world and you can do relatively well um, with these things. So there we go, eight and one, not bad. So there we go. I hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you next time.